was a far cry from Erdogan's last visit six years ago. Back then, he and his Greek counterpart openly argued about the Lausanne Treaty that set the borders between their countries a century ago. This time, he and President Katerina Sakelaropoulou avoided all controversy. The two governments signed 15 accords to double their trade and build a new bridge across their border. And they agreed to disagree about who will control more maritime space in the Aegean and Eastern Mediterranean, which has brought them to the brink of war five times in as many decades. Greece and Turkey need to live peacefully, to express their differences and discuss them honestly, and to constantly try and find solutions. And if those differences are unbridgeable, they should not automatically lead to tensions and crises. We wish to turn the Aegean into a sea of peace and cooperation. We want to be an example to the entire world with the steps Greece and Turkey shall take together. The fact that maritime borders were off the table doesn't mean they were ignored. They'll be discussed in future. This visit was designed to reset the mood. To have two countries lessen tensions, improve rhetoric, agree to meet again, Prime Minister Mitsotakis, it was said, is going to visit Ankara in the spring. Have concrete measures that bring tourists, Turkish tourists with a visa to Greek islands. Again, agreement on refugees. And most importantly, in many ways, double bilateral trade from 5 to 10 billion euros. These are concrete, positive measures. But why now? Erdogan spent much of last year threatening to invade Greek islands. Mitsotakis asked the U.S. Congress not to sell Turkey F-16 that might be used against Greece. When a Turkish frigate attempted to ram a Greek one in 2020, there was a real fear of armed conflict. For years now, Turkey has put pressure on Greece to come to terms on maritime borders. But two earthquakes early this year flattened Turkish cities and created a need for Western investment in reconstruction. And ongoing wars in Ukraine and Gaza have already created great risk for both the Greek and the Turkish economies. So the appetite for gunboat diplomacy and high seas confrontation seems to be falling away. There seems to be more appetite for stability. The real test, of course, is yet to come. Whether the Greeks and Turks can indeed come to a bilateral agreement on maritime space that has eluded them for decades, and if not, whether they can agree to submit to arbitration at the International Court of Justice in The Hague. John Saropoulos, Al Jazeera, Athens. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.